most successful event, it's the one that achieves your goals and exceeds your expectations, just like I'm going to exceed your expectations today. Ladies and gentlemen, Debo Homa Fordi, welcome to another installment of Base Guide 101. I'm excited today. I'm speaking what I love attending the most, being events. And in studio, I've got Lerato Matibi from Lee Management. How are you, Lerato? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? No, good, thanks. Thank you for joining us on the show. No, thank you for having me. Good thing. Lerato, events management. I mean... It's a word that gets thrown around everywhere yeah. and, you know, we get mis we misinterpret it mm. and we interpret it differently as well. I mean, what is events management? Events management is the business of, of the parties. Okay. Yes, the parties, the artists and all that. You bring it together and you manage it with the, with the criteria of a business. Mm -hmm. You put together the quotations, the invoicing, so finance department. Mm -hmm. You put departments to it, the marketing department the supplier managers. So you, you basically put it together and you manage it like a business. Mm. Yes. yes. I understand that there's different sides of events. There's product placement, there's product launches, there's gala dinners, there's, does it matter the type of event that you guys want to, or that, that the client wants to host, or you can just do any event, any party? Yeah. Well, if, if you are a qualified events manager, you can do any event. Okay. Like I'm saying, you literally are the project manager of an event. So you do the feasibility studies, the risk management, the milestones. You basically plan it from a business perspective. It oh. needs to make sense in the sense that from the start to the finish, you need to be able to have the entire body of the event. And that's events management. It, you can even do a baby shower. You can do a wedding. You can do a dinner, a birthday dinner. You can do a festival. You can do an extravaganza. You can do anything once mm. you are a qualified events manager because you know all the requirements that are needed to execute. Yeah. I, I love how you put it, a project manager of events. Yeah. So, but now putting together these events, mm. um, there's others that are putting decorating, yes. others are putting this thing. Mm. So are they events managers as no, well? No, they're not. What the, are they? the events manager is actually the body, the focal contact point that makes sure that all the elements that are required come together. Oh, so, so you're responsible of bringing everyone. Everything together and into this one body, events management, and you manage it to, to actually meet the vision mm. and the, achieve the goal of the event. Okay. So then it must be complicated <laughs> than one thing. So, no. so, is it? Mm. so is it hard to get into this business? Not really. As an events manager, you can't be timid you mm. have to go out there one like i said you need to know the right people like you mm. need to know the party people mm. you need to know what the parties are mm. you need to go to the parties to see how they are done and why people are attracted to those parties why people are attending those parties because mm. you can manage an exceptional event Mm. At the end of the day, it's the attendance that matters. Okay. And but, but now you're explaining the fact that you guys were coming to this party yes. and it was coming to an end. Why yes. were you going to an event? Because we went ending? to go see how they did it. We oh. went to go see how, where they missed themselves, where we can maximize. You know, we went to see where they were disadvantaged, where we can take advantage, where the stage was placed, did it make sense to the guests? where their VIP was placed, what did they have in their VIP, how we can mm. maximize on that, what are the new trends that they're using that we probably don't even know about. Mm. So it, it's beneficial okay. to you to go check out your competitor. Okay. So then you spoke earlier about um, education or being empowered. Yes. Um, so I mean, how key is training into get events management? It's very, very key. Mm. I mean, you can't just I, I, for myself, I'm very talented mm -hmm. in events, but I couldn't just rely on my talent. It's like a soccer player. You can't just rely on the fact that you are good at playing ball. Mm -hmm. You need to know the basics. You need to be trained. You know, you need to understand. So it's very important to do an events management course. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's really important. And second to that, I always, I always say that it's also beneficial, even after you've done an events management course, to go for, for internship. Maybe before the, the internship, how much is an events management course cost? Well, they start from 9,000 Rand. Okay. Um, this, these are reputable um, institutions. Mm -hmm. They start there, they can escalate to way up, 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 up. Yeah. So the 9,000 one um, average, yeah, how, there was the duration? Uh, three to six months. Three to six months. Yes. Okay. No, it's fine. Then you were speaking of an internship. Yes. Yeah. Internship is finding companies that are doing events, okay. that specialize in events, mm -hmm. 
and offer your services. You can volunteer from for a month to about three months. And then from there, maybe they'll put you on a stipend, but you'll be learning. You, you'll be learning that you will not miss a mark, you know? Mm. I think that also for me is very important for people to put themselves out there. Okay. Yes. So then now I've went, did my internship. Um, I want to start this business. What equipment do I need? Oh, I mean, you need a laptop. <laughs> okay, you need a laptop. <laughs> you need a laptop. You need a, you need a reliable phone. I say mm. reliable because you need to contact you on your emails on your phone yeah. because sometimes you're on the road. Okay. You so need, it means I need a smartphone. Yes, you need okay. a smartphone. Then from maybe average for for the type of laptop I need, how much will it cost me? Uh well, a an entry level HP will cost you about four thousand. Okay. Yeah. Also, oh, entry level is fine. Entry level is okay. fine to start. Okay. To start, and yeah. I'm I'm hoping in the next two years you should be fine if yeah. you know what you're yeah. doing. So then the type of um the type of smartphone I need, how much would it cost me? Uh, about three thousand. Okay. Like basic, basic at entry level. Mm. Yes, three thousand rand. Okay. And then you need a modem to connect to your internet. Okay. Because I I I, I imagine you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Mm. If you do, that's great. Take advantage. <laughs> a modem will cost you between three to five hundred. Okay. And then you need data, about a gig. I remember when I started, a gig a month would, would really, really carry me. It would really stretch me for thirty days. Mm -hmm. And a gig now is about one hundred and fifty. Yeah, but anyway, that one it depends on the service provider that 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 you're using, right? Yes, but no. I mean. Most of the time, you are on the phone and reiterating by email. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So then it means now it's good to have a set budget to be making calls. Yes. You have a set budget yes. to be. I mean, what would you say the budget would be to? For for ETA, yeah. a thousand. No, right? no, of like that is for now. Okay, no, it's fine. It makes yes. sense. Mm. So then now tell me, I've gotten my equipment. Mm. Um, I want to start running this business. Yes. Um, so. Do I employ people from the get-go, or is it this a business that I can run on my own? No, no, you can't employ people from the get-go. You just need to have a database of freelancers mm. as and how you need them okay. per event. I mean, you will need to have your database of your deco people. You need to have a database of your photographers, you know, mm. the basic that you will need. Because mo in most times, you start with like a dinner party. Okay. So you will say, okay, I will need a, a decorator. I will need a photographer. Mm. You, you know, those basic things. Mm -hmm. You just need to have people on your database that you appoint as per event. Okay. But now the interesting part now is that I've gotten this database of people. Mm. How do I now pay them? Do I pay them per event? Do I pay them in hourly rate? How does you it work? You pay them per event. Per event? Yes. How? What do you mean how? Okay. I get like, it. I, you, here's your client who okay. says to you, Dabokho, please come and do my dinner party. Yes. I'm going to have it at such and such a restaurant. Mm. You say to your client, great, what do you need? Mm. I need this and this and this. You put it down, right? Okay. You, you have already your database, mm. like you said. So you say to your supplier, I need 50% deposit. Oh, so I take up a deposit. Yes, okay, you, you have to. You can't start without it. Okay. Because remember, you are starting up. Yeah, yeah, All yes. you have is a laptop and a phone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you are relying on your freelancers to supply, mm. which are your suppliers. Okay. And for your suppliers to come on board, they need 50% mm. deposit. Yes. So even your 50% deposit must also meet their 50% deposits. Mm. So that's where your negotiation skills come in. Mm. Very important. Okay. Like that is crunch time yeah. because that is what makes the event going forward. So now the other 50% balance, when do I get it? After the event? Most cases you will get it after the event. But okay. if you are me and you're a good negotiator, you can get it throughout the duration of the event. In triplets. <laughs> so by the time the event starts, you've gotten your fifty percent balance. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Okay. So then now, in terms of now um, pricing, how do I price for this event? Well, your event basically, like I said earlier, with your suppliers, is really priced by what is required. I mean, the requirements are really what prices mm. the event. Mm. Second to that is the suppliers. They mm. also inject a lot of knowledge on how you price your event. Okay. So yes. then now that makes sense. Yes. Now comes you, and then the comes event me, manager. How do you I charge my twenty, yourself? And then I charge my 20% management fee on the overall amount. 20% mm, management fee. Yes. Okay. So if the, the, the event was costing 200000 I want 20%. You want 20% of, of that? Yes. Sure. Okay. And then only we subtotal and we vet if required and then mm. we grand total. Okay. However, so, sorry to cut you, some people charge a 35% markup, mm. not a 20%. No, oh, okay. Yes. No, it's a, so then now how do you get your weight out there? How do people know about you? 
Well, if you are starting from the beginning with this little bit of equipment that you mm -hmm. have, I always I created a flyer okay. with all with my logo and everything that my, that my guy had done for me. Mm. Like greatly, he did it for me at twenty percent payment upfront, which was mm. cool. Um, so I did a flyer with all my events mm. um, information, my company info, how I can be contacted. And I, I, I sent bulk emails on that. I WhatsApp, bulk, I broadcast WhatsApp, and I would give them away everywhere I went. <laughs> everywhere. I'd be like, here I am, I've arrived, you mm. know. And people would call and inquire about the services. Mm. And my first gig was a baby shower. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. no. So then let, let me just get Lerato, if ever I got everything right. I mean, this type of business, this is a business that. Um, that definitely requires training. Um, there's nothing to it that besides being a very, very good coordinator, because there's a lot of attention to detail that you need to be able uh, to put together. You need to know the issues of risk, like she mentioned, the issues of safety before your event, um, you know, decorations, your catering, and many other things. So you're practically the source, you're the engine that brings everyone together and make an event uh, successful. So training is important. I mean, for training, um, you'd need about 9,000 rands um, to be doing an event management course. And after you've done the training, it's not enough. It's very key to go get in or do an internship or in-service training for you to get experience uh, in terms of your skills and get to play with different types of events so that you're able to choose as well the type of sector you want to be focused on, whether it wants parties, whether it's festivals, product placement, or anything of that sort. Most key thing, you need a laptop um, or a computer um, to be putting together all these documentation, quotations, and everything. So a laptop would cost you about 4,000 rand, and you need a smartphone for you to be able to get your emails on the go or to be able to Google if you need to Google some information or some suppliers. So that it would be around about 3,000 rand. It, more than anything, the modem is important. It's currently in our country, we don't have the type of infrastructure that gives you Wi-Fi everywhere. So for a modem, you'd need about three to 500. So I take the highest number uh, being 500. And you need to have a set budget that you would be there, that would be dedicated for your data, for your calls, getting suppliers, or even calling on potential clients. We estimated that at about a thousand rents. So this is a type of business where you don't need employees from the get go, but you need a lot of people that specialize. So it means you need a database of freelancers that you need to put together. Freelancers for people that are doing catering, freelancers for people that are doing lighting, decorating, or depending on the type of industry that you're in, photographers, everyone else. So if you've got a database of that, those are the people that you need, and you'll be priced according to the way they charge you um, for them to render a service. So then coming to pay you, I mean, she has made mention that she takes up 20% markup uh, of the total event. I mean, other suppliers are taking anything from that to about 35%, so it depends from service provider to service provider. So in terms of marketing this business, definitely social media, um, it's a place to go because I mean you'll be having the technology to do so. So and I mean she used flyers. Flyers it's important. Um, I mean I think we emphasize week in week out the importance of taking pictures for the type of work that you do so that when you send it out there, people are able to put an eye to exactly what is it that you're doing. She as well sent bulk emails and WhatsApps uh, to people marketing herself. So that is very very much key. And for pricing, it's key to take on 50% deposit upfront because you need that cash flow for you to be able to run. Did I get that right? Absolutely. No, definitely. No, Lerato, more than anything, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you so much. Um, it was quite insightful. Um, I must say, um, I hope our viewers have actually managed to grab a thing or two. I hope so too. Definitely. So uh, in total, um, starting this business is coming up to 17,500 rands. So it's not a bad business definitely to start. It's a business that I would encourage you to definitely go into it. This is all we had for you today on Base Guide 101 with myself, Double Homer 40. Catch us again next time with another exciting business and another exciting industry. I'm yours, I'm out.